We had the president um, yesterday give an economic speech that, you know, hopefully uh, if I were a candidate of his party, I would want to be uh, mar- I would want to use that speech as a flag to march under. But it struck me it was a little diffuse and I'm not sure it's going to get the Democrats uh, the kind of rallying cry that they want. But maybe you had a different take or uh, you know, my concern is that the Democrats maybe are not being coherent enough so i guess as we as we close out do you have any closing thoughts about what people should be watching for in the next uh in next uh month i think if the day comes when democrats have a coherent and disciplined message across the party hell is going to freeze over because uh, that has certainly (laughs) not been the case in this election and previous elections and you're absolutely right president obama is trying to say hey the economy is doing a lot better than a lot of people think However, a lot of people look up and see, okay, the Dow's fine and you know, corporate profits are way up, but hourly wages are stagnant. The middle class is still looking at the income inequality gap getting bigger and bigger. And there's a feeling out there that Washington simply has not been able to address that, that yes, the president was able to keep the nation from going into a massive depression and get the economy out of the ditch, but as far as solving the problem of the income gap between wealthy and poor, Washington either hasn't done anything or has actually made it worse. And there's this pervasive feeling, fueled in part by Democrats' incoherence and by Republicans' message-making that Washington simply cannot get things done with President Obama at the helm. And a lot of Democrats, therefore, are very nervous about how that may play back with their races this fall.